What's up everyone? So I have to share this video because I'm almost positive hardly anyone, if anyone, has even seen this before. This is one of the most blatant civil rights violations I have ever seen from supposed sheriff slash law enforcement. And this is the Sheriff's Department in El Dorado, California. So let me give some backstory here and then we're, I'm going to let you just watch the entire episode in full because it's absolutely insane. I don't see how this Sheriff's Department hasn't been sued out of business if this is how they operate. So what happens is these sheriffs pull into a parking lot where they use their vehicles to scan everyone's plates because now they're fishing, not policing. And they happen to run across a plate that just doesn't fit right with the vehicle. So they all they the only description they have is somebody said two white guys went into the store. So they apprehend the very first white guy that they see and demand ID from him. Now this kid happens to watch other YouTube videos and knows that he has rights. So he refuses to ID and asks what crime he committed. They immediately hem him up and put him into handcuffs. While he continues to inform them that they are violating his rights, which they in fact are blatantly doing. Then his father comes along, that's what the hell's going on. And they explain to him, well, you know, we saw this car and the plates don't, you know, match with it or something. Uh, and so we apprehended him because he won't ID. And the father goes on to tell them that it's not their vehicle. They have an entirely different vehicle and they have nothing to do with this incident of the car that they're supposedly investigating. They don't give a shit because this kid stuck up for his rights. They just bite down like a fucking savage pit bull and try to make him pay for having any type of intelligence or, you know, not quite bowing down to their great authority that they so feel that they have over him. Then, I'm, I mean, I'm going to spoil the whole video, but then let you watch it. Eventually, they arrest this poor kid for resisting arrest with no, with no main crime that he resisted for. He just continued to ask, what am I, why am I in cuffs? Why, why am I under arrest? What crime have I committed? They refuse to tell him. And then they just say, oh, you're under arrest for resisting arrest. Resisting arrest for what? They, they failed to answer him. They do locate the people's car, who it was that they are looking for. And they ended up leaving scot-free, no problem, because the cops are fucking stupid in El Dorado and just ran the shit wrong or didn't know what the fuck they were doing. But because their egos got in the way of actually, you know, upholding the oath that they took to the Constitution and serving its public as the servants that they are, they just let their egos run wild and completely trample over this poor kid's fucking rights and throw them in fucking jail to set an example of them that we live in a fucking police state. This is disgusting. These cops are absolutely retarded, and I appreciate good law enforcement. Good law enforcement, I fully back up. This is why I don't say I stand with the blue line or whatever, because there's stupid fucking retarded cops like this that just violate your rights in front of other cops that don't give a fuck, and they all just, they're like a gang. They don't care. Not, not one cop said, hey, man, you know, like, let him go. He, he didn't commit a crime. You know, we fucked up, not him. No, nope, they stuck to their guns. Their egos did all the fucking work. And I hope they get sued into oblivion. And I hope that the civil rights activist lawyer guy on YouTube, or one of them, sees this and does something about it. I don't know. This is fucked up. Uh, anyway, let's play the video, and I will shut up. And hopefully you like this. Make sure to follow. If you see this on YouTube, subscribe. So we were dispatched to assist our partner with a call that involved possibly a stolen vehicle or stolen license plates. Plates don't match a car. Two of uh, these people said two guys just went in, late teens, early 20s, wearing pants, white guys, about all they could give us. Okay. You want to go in and try and contact them before we they see us and spook? We could. Go see if the stopper happened. Hey, hold on, hold on. Don't walk away. What's gonna get back around? Don't do not. I think I'm gonna be 
Right. Okay. What's your problem? What's your what problem? Your, what car is yours out there? It's a simple question. It's, it's my right to not tell you. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? Do I need to put your handcuffs? What's your name? Sir, this is going to get bad because you're you're doing something very illegal right now. Yeah? What yep. law school did you go to? Does law school make uh, make me not have rights? So what, what, how does that work? Because I have rights. And you're violating them right now. Well, I'm a peace officer in the state of California. No, you're not. Oh, okay. You're violating my rights right now. Why are you putting your hand through my pocket? You have no right Where's to do what you're doing right now. Where's your ID? That's none of your business. Why are you violating my rights right now? Is that your friend right there? I walked out of the store and he asked me for my ID, and he has no right to ask me for my ID. Are you with him, sir? Okay. Okay. You good? You good there? Yeah. No, I'm not good. So the reason um, my partner, ha we haven't detained right now is because we got a call that two, two Why are you shuffling your hands through my pocket right now? I'm trying to find your ID because you won't tell me what your name is. I wouldn't search You have no right to search my pockets. You're violating my rights. Basically, I mean, we're just trying to see what's going on. We're investigating the fact that there were some people that came out of a blue car over there. So which white four? You said it was yeah. a white forerunner? Yeah, I can show okay. it to you. You both came out of the same car? Uh, yeah. You are, you are just, you are despicable. I want you guys to also notice real quick, that cop right there is the dickhead that lets his ego run the whole show. Um, but the cop that was talking to the father just said it was a blue vehicle. But then they changed it to a black vehicle. Uh, these cops are fucking stupid. They are dumb as fucking shit. I don't think I've seen dumber cops. I thought this was like a spoof. But no, it's real. These people have guns and are in control and have authority. It's scary. This is scary. That there's absolutely no thought put into their actions. They just act because they have guns. And they have badges and qualified immunity. So they don't give a fuck about you, me, anyone's rights, these guys' rights. Uh, they don't care. They just do what they want. They are a gang. And this is, and they're a dumbass gang. Fucking idiots. You're not a peace officer. Okay. Yeah. Well, the state of California yeah, disagrees with state of California cannot take away any of the rights. And unfortunately right now we're trying to investigate the fact that we possibly could have a stolen right, vehicle. Right, right, just calm down. We can so. get this resolved. You have no right to do what you're doing. Why are you doing this? Right, right, just calm down. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? What did I do? What law did I violate? What law did I violate? Crime. That's not crime. You are violating my rights and you have no right to do what you're doing. You have no right to do what you're doing. Why are you violating my rights, sir? I'm not resisting anything. Your son matches a similar description of that. We contacted him. He instantly tried to turn and walk away from us um, and refused to provide any type of identification or tell us any what vehicle he was coming from. So in the, in the interest of us trying to investigate possible crime, that's why he's being detained right now. So he said, your son fits the description we got. The only description they got were two white guys wearing pants. That's the description. You can't just run around and fucking hem up anybody who has a skin color that oh my god these cops are fucking retarded like do 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 i eat blue crayons retarded okay all right okay. so we just, okay we pulled off to go to the restroom and get some coffee okay. they does he normally does he normally like this he's a 24 year old who doesn't who, who watches the videos of cops going to eat on people okay all right let's go you have no right to do what you're doing you want to put them in mine? Yeah. Okay. Why are we going to do that? Central 30 over. We have one to change. The only thing that's not getting resolved is that he's violating my rights. You are violating my rights. You are violating my rights. You get on the path. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so much for Constitutional board. Sheriff's Department here. Okay, right. Just go ahead and turn around and face that way for me, please. Why? I need you to turn around and face that way. Otherwise, Why if you refuse to do so, then I'm going to be forced to put you in here by force. Which what means crime I'm going to have, to shut have the I door. committed? Right now, we're trying to investigate a crime. What okay? crime have I committed? Did you hear me? 
What did I explain to you? We're you have not explained to me that they have any probable cause to do what you're doing. Right now. You're violating my rights. Ryan, you're under arrest for resisting. Okay. For resisting okay. what? Going to. I'm under arrest for resisting? Resisting what? He said his siblings are in law enforcement. However, his son, you know, watches a lot of police videos. And he watches a lot of police Yeah, so, so he thinks. Uh, education from the University of YouTube, huh? Right, so. That cocky fucker right there. Got an education from the University of YouTube. No, motherfucker. He actually understands his constitutional rights, and you swore to uphold them, and you have no idea what the fuck they mean. His face is blurred. I want to show him, because he's a fat fucking retard. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll let this video continue, but these cops immediately need demoted to, like, walking around handing out parking tickets at best. They need to not have any authority to arrest, detain, harass, or potentially kill someone over their dumbass, non-functioning brains and big-ass egos fatter than this guy's fucking face and neck. It's disgusting. I'm honestly pissed off about this, and I've never made a video like this before, but that guy, that guy that they just fucked over could have easily been any one of us who wanted to defend our rights, who truly did absolutely nothing wrong, and these pig-headed fucks with their fucking egos don't give a shit. They just want to make an arrest and look cool for the camera and talk shit when they're the ones who look fucking stupid as shit to everybody. I hope they get their fucking asses sued. I hope that the whole department gets sued. I hope they personally get sued. This guy never sees a pension because he's too busy paying off the guy that he fucked over. Can I talk about this? Yeah, this I'll talk to you. It's like, so, uh, um, do you want to go keep an eye and see if you can find the two that are... Okay. You think it's possibly these guys right here? It could be. You want to go... Yeah. Yep. Hey, guys. Um, what what car are you, you guys driving today? Now, these are the guys that actually had the car that they were looking for the uh, owners you of. Take your hands out of your pockets for me, okay? Do you guys have any driver's license IDs on you or anything like that? Yes, sir. Okay. Is that your black Honda Civic right there? Okay, I'm gonna need you to keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Okay, thanks. You can, you can put your wallet in there, but just anytime hands go in pockets, we start to get a little hinked up, okay? All right, so um, what I'm gonna need you two to do is come with me, and we're gonna walk over there to your car, okay? All right? Basically, partner, he got this license plate through the state of California through the Legacy Plate Program or something like that. He has all of his DMV paperwork inside the car. He just recently completed all this. So hopefully, I mean, this will all be okay. We're okay, we're out of here, all right? So. Unfortunately, what brought us here initially is the fact that we're trying to find a subject who um, assaulted a significant other, is on parole, in a vehicle somewhat similar to this. So that, and then when we see a license plate like this, it doesn't match the car, doesn't match the VIN number. You guys are free to go, man. Okay. <laughs> Believe that? All right. So. Okay. Thank you. Thanks very much. All right. Yeah, I want to see you guys slam. <laughs> no. No. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks for letting us do. Thanks, folks. Yeah, I just seen you guys. Like... See, now that's fucked up, man. They uh, they let those guys go, and then they gave a whole different reason. Originally, they just ran the play to that car, and it didn't match. Now they're saying they were over there for some assault report that they never fucking mentioned before at all. The only description that they got were two white guys that walked into the store from the car. That's what they got from an assault. Now you think if there's an assault victim, they would have given whose name assaulted them or what they were wearing, something more. They're just making shit up. These cops are fucking horrible, horrible fucking people, and I hope that they all get fired. Here they give the father some excuses of why they need to take their his kid to jail and fuck his whole life up because he stood up for his rights and they didn't like that because they're fucking badge wearing tyrants not actual you know public servants or you know a police force that actually proactive polices uh it's disgusting el dorado county sheriff's department you need to do a whole lot better and fire these two fucks or at the very minimum, put them on a behind-the-desk duty, take them off the field. They do not have what it takes. They do not have de-escalation tactics to them. They just want to throw cuffs on people, violate their rights, and act like fucking bullies with guns and badges. That's not what a police force is intended to do, and I support police. But if this is the type of police force that the average public's going to have to deal with, I'm all for defunding the fucking police entirely. Because that's bullshit. You need to uphold our constitutional rights and do your job without expecting someone to self-criminate themselves. That's all I got to say. Make sure, hit like, subscribe, share. Peace.